Easter is over, let's spring begin. Actually, she was correct, in a way. This past Sunday indeed was Easter Sunday or Resurrection Sunday, but we just began the season of Easter. You see, Easter represents Jesus' victory over death and his resurrection is proof that he is the Son of God. And it's the reason we can find hope in an eternity spent with him. Now, before celebrating Easter Sunday, we needed to observe Good Friday. On that day, we remember how Jesus was persecuted and put to death. He was crucified and took on the sins of the whole world, even though he was sinless and blameless. And so in order to understand fully the gospel, we must first understand our sinful nature and our need for a savior. It was Paul who tells us in Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And so without Jesus, we are hopeless. Our sinful nature causes us to fall short of his glory. And the punishment that we deserve is death. But there is good news. While Jesus suffered a terrible death, no doubt, it was God's plan to save us from our sins. And because Jesus conquered death, this made a way for all who believe in him. So if we believe in Jesus and his death and resurrection, we receive forgiveness and salvation. But here's the thing. We are not meant to keep this good news to ourselves. Jesus died for the sins of the whole world. And the gift of salvation is available to all who believe in him as Lord and Savior. And so as Christians, we are called to tell others about God and his great love for us. Mark 16, 15 says, and he said to them, go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. So during this Easter season, I encourage you to share the joy of Easter with others to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus and to reflect on the sacrifice that he made for you. This has been Coffee with Carney.